What's up, River of Praise? I'm Nation Jennings. And I'm Melissa Jennings. We are on day nine of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. You are almost halfway there. Do not give up. I just encourage you, if you're feeling good right now, or if you're feeling a little shaky, you are almost halfway there, so keep going strong. Our topic today is spend time praying for specific strongholds in your life that continue to keep you from experiencing the nearness of Jesus. Ask God to reveal to you what you need to release from your life that is not pleasing to him, and ask God to replace the lies of the enemy with the life-changing truth of his word. Just like in day two, we talked about the light of Christ over our lives. Well, sometimes the light of Christ can be dimmed or clouded by some of these strongholds, such as being careful of what we say. Are we encouraging people or are we tearing people down? Are we speaking life or are we speaking death? Is your entertainment that you are listening to or watching actually feeding your spirit? Are we meeting people's needs? Are we criticizing people instead of encouraging people? Are we using our social media wisely? Is what we're posting on social media an actual good representation of Christ? In the Bible, in Romans 12, 2, it says, And do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually. By the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes, so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you. That's good, Melissa. And I do think such an important part of that is identifying what those strongholds are in your life. Mm -hmm. Going back today too, I talked about just being genuine. You know, making sure you're not calling entertainment what God calls sin. Mm -hmm. You're not calling good what God calls bad. Just being as simple as that and always staying mindful of what you're doing at all times because people are paying attention. Lord, I just thank you for today, Father. I thank you for getting us this far, God, and I thank you for giving us this opportunity, God, to really dive in and have a better understanding of what you want for our lives, God. I thank you for in advance for revealing those strongholds over our lives, God, and so that we may not focus on those, God, but be encouraged by the blessings that you have in store for us. Yes, and Lord, we just thank you, God. I just pray that you'd help us not to grow weary and well-doing. Lord, and like Melissa said, I just pray that you would help us not to focus on those strongholds, but we just give you the glory that you've already broken through them, Lord. Help us to just be a representation of you at all times, God. And I just pray that you would help us to continue to go strong through this 21 days of prayer and fasting. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, church, thank you for joining us once again. I'm Nation Jennings, and this is my wife, Melissa. Let's keep going strong. You are almost halfway there. Love, Love you guys. guys.